These are the 20 best e-readers of 2024 and we're gonna rank each of them from god tier to trash tier. Links to all of the e-readers mentioned in this video will be in the description below. Number 1. Onyx Books Note Air 3C This thing is a beast. The 10.3 inch color e-ink display is gorgeous and the Android support means I can install pretty much any app I want. The note taking experience is smooth as butter and the build quality is top notch. Sure it's pricey but for power users who want it all, this is the cream of the crop. I'm putting this bad boy in god tier without hesitation. Number 2. Kobo Sage Alright, this one's a bit of a mixed bag. The 8 inch screen is nice and big, and the stylus support is cool for jottling down notes. But man, these page turn buttons can be finicky. And the device feels a bit cheap for the price. It's not terrible, but it's not amazing either. I'm gonna slot this into good tier. It's decent, but there are better options out there. Number 3. Amazon Kindle Osis now we're talking, this premium e-reader has a sleek design, great screen quality and that sweet adjustable warm light for nighttime reading. The battery life is fantastic and the integration with the Amazon ecosystem is seamless. It's not perfect, no USB-C and it's a bit pricey, but it's still a top-notch device. I'm feeling generous, I'm putting this in the great tier. Number 4. Kobo Libra Color Oh hello color e-ink, this thing is pretty cool. The color display brings book covers to life and the physical buttons are a nice touch. It's a waterproof, eco-friendly and even repairable. But the color can be a bit muted and the Kobo ecosystem isn't as robust as Amazon's. Still, it's a solid choice for those who want a taste of color. I'm gonna place this into the great tier too. It's not quite god tier but it's definitely up there. Number 5. Amazon Kindle Paper White Kids This e-reader is a game changer for young bookworms. It's got a 6.8 inch glare free display that's perfect for reading in any light and the adjustable warm light is a godsend for those late night reading sessions. Plus it comes with a 2 year worry free guarantee and a kid friendly cover. Talk about peace of mind for parents, I'm putting this one in the good tier because while it's great for kids, it might be a bit limiting for adults. Number 6. Barnes & Noble Nook Glow Light 4 it's got a nice 6 inch high resolution screen and physical page turning buttons, which I know some of you old school readers will love. The 32GB storage is pretty sweet too, you can carry a whole library with you. But honestly, I, it feels a bit behind the times compared to some other options out there. I'm sticking this in the average tier, it's not bad but it's not blowing my mind either. Number 7. Kobo Libra 2 This e-reader is the real deal, it's got a 7 inch e-ink card 1200 touchscreen that's just faster display, quicker page turns and deeper contrast. Plus it's waterproof and has a comfortable ergonomic design. And get this, it supports audiobooks too. I'm absolutely loving this one folks, it's versatile, feature packed and just a joy to use. I'm putting this bad boy right up in the god tier where it belongs. Number 8. Kobo Neon This little guy is like the scrappy underdog of e-readers. It's got a compact 6 inch glare free touchscreen that's perfect for one handed reading. The comfort light adjustable brightness is a nice touch too. It might not have all the bells and whistles of its big brother, the Libra 2, but it gets the job done without breaking the bank. For its simplicity and value, I'm placing this one in the good tier. It's a solid choice for casual readers or those on a budget. Number 9. Remarkable 2 This thing is an absolute game changer for note-taking enthusiasts. The writing experience is unmatched. It genuinely feels like you're writing on paper. I love how distraction-free it is, with no apps or notifications to pull you away from your thoughts. The battery life is insane too, lasting for weeks. But let's be real, it's pretty pricey, especially when you factor in the accessories. And if you're looking for a versatile e-reader, this ain't it. It's really just for writing and basic PDF rating. Still for what it does, it does it so well that I can't help but put this bad boy in the god tier. Number 10. Pocketbook Ink Pad Color 3 Okay now this is for comic book lovers. This e-reader is bringing some serious color to the game. The vibrant e-ink display is perfect for graphic novels and magazines. I'm also digging the waterproof design. Bad time reading anyone? But here's the catch, you can't install any apps, which is kind of a bummer and sometimes it can be a bit sluggish. For me though, the pros outweigh the cons, so I'm placing this colorful contender in great tier. Number 11. Onyx Books Palma This little device is like the Swiss army knife of e-readers. It's got a phone-sized screen, but don't let that fool you. It packs a punch. You can download apps, play videos, and even check your email. The performance is snappy and the battery life is impressive, but here's the thing. It's pretty expensive, and the customer service can be hit or miss. If you're looking for a super versatile pocket-sized e-reader though, this might be your jam. I'm feeling generous, so I'm slotting this multi-talented gadget into great tier. Number 12. Kobo Clara 2e Alright, let's talk about this eco-friendly e-reader. I love that it's made from recycled plastics, 
Mother Earth approves. The high-res screen is easy on your eyes and it's waterproof, which is always a plus. But man, this thing can be slow sometimes, like watching paint dry slow. The front light isn't great either, which is a bummer for nighttime reading. It's decent for basic e-reading, but nothing to write home about. Taking all that into account, I'm putting this green machine in average tier. Number 13. Amazon Kindle Paperwhite This thing is an absolute beast. The 6.8 inch 300 ppi display is gorgeous, and the adjustable warm light is perfect for nighttime reading. It's waterproof, has great battery life, and the USB-C charging is a welcome upgrade. I love how snappy and responsive it feels compared to older models. For most people, this is the sweet spot in Amazon's light up. I'm putting this bad boy in god tier without hesitation. Number 14. Amazon Kindle Paperwhite Signature Edition Okay, so this is basically the regular Paperwhite on steroids. You get 32GB of storage, wireless charging, and an auto-adjusting front light. Is it worth the extra $50? If you're a hardcore reader who plows through tons of books, absolutely. The extra storage and convenience features are really nice to have. I'm also slotting this into the god tier. It's just that good. Number 15. Pocketbook Touch HD 3 Now, this is an interesting one. It's got some cool features like audiobook support and text-to-speech. The 300 ppi screen looks great, and I dig the physical buttons. It's also waterproof, which is always a plus. The downside, the software can be a bit clunky compared to Kindle or Kobo. Still, for people who want more flexibility with file formats, this is a solid choice. I'm feeling great tier for this one. Number 16. Barnes & Noble Nook Glow Light 4E Barnes & Noble is really trying here, but the physical buttons are nice, and it's super lightweight, but the screen isn't as sharp as the competition. There's no waterproofing, and the front light is a bit uneven. It's not terrible, but in 2024, it just feels a bit behind the curve. If you're a diehard BNN fan, maybe give it a look. But for most people, there are better options out there. I'm gonna have to put this in the average tier. Sorry, Nook. Number 17. Kobo Ellipsa 2E This big boy is a serious contender in the e-reader game. With its 10.3-inch screen, it's perfect for those who love reading and taking notes. The stylus feels great, and the ability to annotate PDFs is a game changer for students and professionals. But let's be real, it's not cheap, and the screen can be a bit laggy at times. Still, if you're looking for a versatile e-reader that can handle both books and note-taking, this is a solid choice. I'm putting this in the great tier because it's got some awesome features, but it's not quite perfect. Number 18. Amazon Kindle Alright, let's talk about Amazon's latest basic Kindle. It's got a nice upgrade with a 300 ppi screen, which is a big step up from the previous model. The compact size is great for throwing in your bag, but that small screen might not be everyone's cup of tea. It's got decent storage and a long battery life, which is always a plus. However, it's missing some features like waterproofing that you'd find in pricier models. For the price, it's not bad, but it's not blowing me away either. I'm putting this in the average tier because it's good for casual readers on a budget. But there are better options out there if you're willing to spend a bit more. Number 19. Barnes & Noble Nook Glow Light 4 Plus Now, this is an interesting one. The new Glow Light 4 Plus is trying to keep up with the big players. And it's doing a pretty decent job. It's got a nice 7.8 inch screen and physical page turn buttons, which I know some people really love. The waterproofing is a nice touch and it's got both Bluetooth and a headphone jack for audiobooks. But let's be real, the Nook ecosystem isn't as robust as Amazon's or Kobo's, which might be a deal breaker for some. I'm putting this in the good tier because it's got some solid features and it's a good option for those who want to avoid Amazon, but it's not quite at the top of the pack. Number 20. Amazon Kindle Scribe Okay, Amazon's jumping into the note-taking e-reader game with a Kindle Scribe, and I've gotta say it's pretty impressive. The 10.2-inch screen is gorgeous, and it's great for both reading and writing. The stylus works well, and it's nice that you don't have to charge it. But here's the thing, while it's great for reading, the note-taking features are a bit basic compared to some dedicated e-ink tablets. You can't write directly in the margins of books, which is a bummer for students. I'm putting this in the good tier because it's a solid device with a lot of potential, but it's not quite living up to all the hype just yet. So there you have it. These are my personal ratings for all of the most popular best e-reader of 2024. Links to all of these best e-reader will be in the description below. Do you agree with me on these rankings or not? Leave a comment down below and I will see you guys on the next video. Peace out.